Hey, we have a treat today. We're going to install Apache on an EC2 instance. Uh, we're going to follow a walkthrough that actually does more, something better. Um, uh, but oftentimes when you want to do something, you find something on the internet that uh, isn't exactly so we, I chose this because it's not exactly what I want. And I wanted to show you that sometimes we just have to add or bypass through things. Okay. Um, I've also created a new instance here. So if I come here um, to my... Um, I have in, uh, my command line, I should be able to SSH. Um, and because I created it with my key, I don't need um, I don't need the dash I, I just need EC2 user at and the IP address. Um, and happy day, my new system is up and, and available. So this is brand new today. So I don't need to do the clear of the history or anything sweet. Okay, so do the walkthrough. Uh, we don't, aren't going to do the EFS mount, so I can not have to worry about unmounting it or anything. But I do want to install Apache and start Apache. So I'm going to copy this and come back to here. And I'm going to be very careful because I've already tried to create this video a few times and uh, had weird things. So uh, install HTTPD. Um, sweet. So we've installed it, but we haven't started it yet. So I'm going to copy start. And I'm clicking at the top because for some reason, when I was doing this recording it before, it stopped my recording. So um, starting it, which by the way, if you look, this command is old. It shouldn't, it, it kind of shouldn't work. This is the correct command. System control start HTTP.service. But Linux was nice enough to say, I understand what you're trying to do. I'll just run the new command. Okay, cool. So we've installed and we've started it um it wants us to make the mount point and mount we're not going to do that because those are um they have to do with the efs we don't have to do that but here add a rule to the ec2 instance that allows for http traffic well that's something i haven't done so actually let's come back to my instance i created it with the default security group so i have to come here to security group uh, and I can see that I only have port 22 open. So I need to click on my security group. Uh, by the way, you can use this with the CLI. You can even um, create it correctly at startup or assign a, the right security group would be the best way. Um, but we're going to edit inbound rules, add a rule, and we're going to allow HTTP. Now we could say a custom and do a TCP and port 80 would be the same. Uh, and we're going to allow it from anywhere. Save rule. Sweet. So that should allow us to hit that server um, with our web browser uh, if it's up and ru running. Now it mentions we should create a sample directory. We're not going to do that, but we do want to create an HTML file. This is a, yeah, we're going to do it differently, uh, but it needs to be inside um, the the instance so i'm going to come back to my servers this is where we have to deviate some and i'm going to cd into var cd www because this is where apache puts stuff um and if i see there's an html cd html now i'm going to just echo I did it into index.html. And this probably won't work, even with sudo. Uh, I believe this is a SE Linux thing. Uh, so I'm going to sudo su dash and become root and cd back to var www.html. That's just where I was. So I did it slowly the last time, step by step. This I just did it all at the same time. And I'm just going to copy and paste and run that. And it's there. And I'm going to come back here to my instance. And I'm going to get the IP from it. And I'm going to put it up in this window. 
I did it. Happy day. So with that, what we've done is we've created a server. We've installed Apache and we put uh, something in index.html, which is the default. So it shows up here. Okay. Uh, now we had to do that last little step as root. If we created a directory and, and set things right, we wouldn't have to do that. So I'm going to exit out as a root. Um, and then I want to do one more thing. So I want to help you understand a little bit about um, finding things. So I can pgrep HTTP. And I can see all of the processes that have to do with HTTPD. Now, I often do ps-eaf pipe grip HTTP because it shows me a little bit more. Um, there are a lot of other cool, um, cool ways of finding processes. So, for example, I use top a lot. And in top, I can look and see what's heavy. In fact, there's HTTPD right there, but it's jumping through. I can also see how busy the system is, how much memory it's using, how many CPUs, weight, the weight, the, there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is the, the how busy it's been over time too. I can see how many users are in, how long it's been booted. So this top is just an awesome command. Now, if we go back to this command that I ran earlier, we can see that there's a, quite a few Apache processes, but almost all of them come from this. So I'm going to do a PS tree on that process right there. And we can see the different things that it has here. Okay, lots of different ways to see things. Um, now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to kill. So I'm going to do a kill on this process. Okay. And it says it's not permitted because I need to be root sudo. Um, bang, bang, just run the last command. And it did sudo kill that. Now, if I look here at the, let's do, let's do the pgrep HTTP. It's all gone. And now if I come back to my web page, it's gone because even though my server's up and running, Apache's no longer up running. Now I want to do one more thing. I want to chk config httpd on. Oh, sudo. What that does, in fact, it created a symlink. So that when my system restarts, it'll automatically boot Apache. Let's just try that. Uh, sudo. You know what? Before I do this, I'm going to do history just in case I lose it. And copy that. I'm going to reboot. No, oh, sudo reboot. Um, so it's rebooting right now. While it reboots, I'm just going to get a note up and save that. You don't have to see that I've saved that though. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can log back in. Now, since I rebooted it, it's not going to change the um, IP address. If I shut it down and then start it back up, the IP address would change. So let's see how this works here. I'm going to actually control C this because I know that sometimes it just, it takes a little while to reboot. So we're gonna give it just a little bit of time. Oh, it did it and I control C'd it while it was <laughs> running my login script. So I'm gonna log back in. There we go. Uh, by the way, look here, it says that there are security updates, run sudo yum update. That's always a good idea. And that's what we have for today, awesome. We installed Apache. We got not really a page up and running. We put something on it. Uh, we didn't actually create the HTML. Um, I'll probably link out to W3 schools. They have awesome HTML uh, uh, templates that you can use. But we installed Apache. We set it up to auto boot. Um, we started it. We killed it. 
Um, of course, we found it with uh, finding processes, and we even patched our system. I think that's pretty good for a video. Uh, have a good one.